All right, now this tutorial will be how to create your own website, option two, with webs. Webs was previously known as free webs in the past, but they've been uh, making more revenue and they got more money, and I guess they improved with their website. Okay, first things first, go to webs.com, follow the prompt tutorial on how to you know make your own website, your password, and whatnot, and follow along with it. I didn't because I'm, I already have this account, so yeah, with my micro helper. I used to be with FreeWebs, but then I moved on to Wix. Well, actually, Weebly and then Wix. Anyways, back to the subject. Well, to create your own website, just go ahead and go to webs.com and create your website. And let me give a demonstration. Basically, if you want to create a website, you click on Add a New Website or, yeah that you click on it it will ask you what kind of site address I'm not because I already created one you choose for personnel fan site family reviews and whatnot there's small business online store nonprofit and you just click on it so I'm gonna go ahead and go personnel but as I said I'm not gonna create one just follow along with these steps to create your own website you choose a template either one here now to tell you first what FreeWebs uses, it, you can use your own codes for it, HTML or CSS to create your own with Adobe Dreamweaver. It's much more complicated and complex. So my first website was called the microhelper.webs.com. If you want your own domain, which is like microhelper.com, you're going to have to pay for that access. So yeah. That's how it is going to be. So let me show you my uh, website. Old. <laughs> I don't post this website anymore. This was, my, this was my first one. Welcome to my website. And it was called themicrohelper.webs.com. And this is the home page, which wasn't very uh, organized correctly. I was like 12 at the time. Then we go to videos. I was trying to imitate some users on the internet too who did tutorials similar to mine and yeah everything didn't really work out well because I struggled with codes and at the time technology was kinda low but webs um, it has improved and it's completely different now so if you go ahead and click on add a new website obviously you just do these and when you go to your website it should look a little something and it should give you a tutorial and there you go goodbye not just kidding and there's some things you gotta do with it set it up Let's say edit this site. The micro helper. You can give the organizing of what you, the menu should be. Add an application. Add a new page. And you can just edit it. Let's say the home page. Click on edit home. But there should be tutorials to teach you how to manage the website and do a bunch of other things with it. And it should bring you to the site builder with a new interface. Well, it looks new. But this is how it should be. The content box, manage pages. Uh, let's go photo. There's some features in here that you have to pay for, which kind of sucks. So I'm trying out the settings. But yeah, there should be tutorials on how to teach you how to manage the website and setting it up. And yeah, you get to type in here and give it a title like news. You just highlight that and type news. Let's say create a website. This is option two, and it's called webs and yeah check it out it has enough things for you to manage your website and making everything easy easy enough actually but yeah that's basically it my website is not good enough but yeah goodbye